Okay, here he comes, Marino de Florine. Now he's stepping in deep, Eddie. He's gonna be fighting a legend in Ramon Diamond Decker. Florine is from Switzerland. He's from Core Mariano de Florine, ladies and gentlemen. In the ring. Very likable young man. Now this guy's built like a powder keg. He's stocky, he's built, he's in condition. 33 years old from the Master Gym out of Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Roman Decker! Ramon Decker. Switzerland. And it is one of the nine days, no further introductions, but still, I'm going to do it. He represents Meng Ho Prit and is his trainer is Score Hebbers. He also presents the Golden Glory team, and he comes to us with an unbelievable record of 190 wins, 20 losses, and no draws. 95 of his wins came by way of knockout. He holds seven world championship belts in different weight classes and organizations. He is the LMF WEPC champion, the WPKL world champion, the FTBN world champion, and he is the number seven on the Lupini Stadium list in Bangkok. And with that, he is the only foreigner ever to be on that list. He is standing five feet ten inches tall and is weighing in at 172 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him a big hand, Rubble the Diamond Decker! Place. This place is, man, I don't know if I've ever heard an ovation like that. I've been to a lot of live events. This place went nuts when he was announced. Ramon Decker is a living legend. Uh, um, Marino de Florine's hoping to catch Ramon Decker on the down slide, but I don't think it's going to happen tonight. <laughs> you know, this is uh, Ramon Decker's last fight in Muay Thai. Ramon Decker has fought, as uh, Mr. Boss Rutten, the ring announcer, alluded to, in Thailand 30 times and he fought really tough guys Ramon coming right out looks like Ramon wants to get in close he wants to land that left hook we were talking to Marino earlier and he, he does not want to fight on the inside with Ramon Decker that would be a big mistake big right kick that's a big leg kick another big low kick big right high kick Decker is just stalking Marino appears to be hurt already he seemed to be wobbled by that exchange you know, Marino uh, moves around a lot like Andy Hoop. Decker going low again. Decker's got one of the most vicious right low kicks ever in kickboxing or Muay Thai. Tremendous power behind that right kick. Decker has gone on record as saying that when he throws a technique, whether it be a jab or a right hand or a kick, he throws it with everything he's got, 100%. Front push kick right by Decker. Decker coming in with a fake jab and a nice right low kick. He's chopping that left leg. That one hurt. Decker setting that right low kick up with the left jab. This is textbook. Decker, long time trained by the great core hammers. 
trainer of 11 world champions who have come out of uh, Holland and elsewhere. Ramon Decker pressing the action. So far, it looks like Marino. Two Very big low kicks right there by Decker. Looks like Marino bit off a little more than he could choose by the, by the tempo of this fight so far. But Marino coming in with his own low kick there. Marino pressing the action. Good right hand by Marino. was blocked by Decker. Decker seeing what Marino's got. But Decker, he's, I think Decker's going to go to the body with that left hook. I can see it. Decker seemed um, unfazed. By there it is. There's the, there's the left hook again. Decker going for the knee. Decker, really good defense in the clinch. Hard to really hurt Decker with a punch when he covers up. He's one of the best defensive fighters as well as offensive. Boom. Another I think, low kick. I think at this point, Decker does not fear the power of De Florine. Not I think at all. Decker only needs to walk in and do his thing. He's waiting, though. He doesn't want to make a mistake. As well as a knockout artist, Decker is a ring general. There it is. Oh! Huge right low kick. That was a right low kick, left hook, right low kick again. Seems to be a good combination for him in this fight. That's the second time he's landed that particular combination. I got to be thinking that uh, Marino's left leg has got to be feeling those right shots that he's been eating. Decker's so relaxed, so patient. There it is again. Uh, I think I think he's going to stop him with low kicks at this point. They, uh, Florine has got to, he's got to switch to Southpaw pretty soon. He's not going to be able to take too many more of those. There we go with a high kick. Ramon Decker ending the round. Woo! Man. We are talking about Thai boxing mastery here. Ramon Decker showing why he is a legend in the sport of Thai boxing. Punctuating the round almost on the bell with a right high kick. If it were not blocked, uh, Marino may have flown across the ring. Marino, Marino doing what he told us he was going to do. He, was, he wanted to stay on the outside, but if even on the outside, Decker dominating the fight. Okay, here we go. Uh, we got the left jab going on with Decker. Decker's setting up that right low kick with usually a left hand. And there it is. He throws a left hook, right low kick. And that hurt De Florine. Actually, he was a little off balance, um, but it was the other shots that connected because when uh, De Florine has got that left leg planted, Decker cracks that shin upside that left leg. Decker just stalking the whole first round, stalking and picking his shots. I don't know if Marino's gonna be able to take those shots for the rest of the fight. Ramon Decker appears to be in top form. Seems to be fighting. Ramon Decker has his right shin covered. Um, he's had six operations on that shin. He's been hospitalized sometimes for weeks for blood clots. This is a man who puts his life on the line for his craft. And thus, that's one of the reasons. Now, Decker switched to southpaw. He's got the right foot in front. Decker's really going to be toying with, uh, oh, there's that left. I think he got tired of working the, the right low kick. Now he's going to work the left, but now he's back to orthodox. I expect Decker to, to box a little bit. Oh. It's that low kick that's landing almost unblocked. De Florine trying to come back in. Um, Marino has got little tree trunks himself for legs. Otherwise, this fight probably would have been over in the first round. Marino uh, coming forward now. Decided to probably to, to work the inside now. The outside fighting was not working. He was still getting hit. Nice little punch combination there by Decker. It's a right left hook and then a right low kick. There's that left hook, right low kick. That is the stable. Now, Decker faking it. So many Thai fighters, so many Dutch fighters actually, use that left hand, right low kick to perfection. Decker doesn't even flinch when Marino throws a kick. And they, they, those kicks by Marino look pretty powerful. Decker not flinching at all. I think Decker's going to go to the body with that left hook. Marino throwing big overhand rights. Well, we know that Marino is here to fight because he's absorbed a lot of shots to that left leg. But he seems to, seems to be pretty preppy 
you know, in his bouncing and his movement. But he just doesn't seem to have the artillery right now to hurt Ramon Decker. But that's really no shame because not many people in this weight in the world ever have had the artillery to hurt Ramon. He's been cut before, but he's never been cleanly devastated by punching or kicking. He's, he's lost fights on TKOs before, but and he's gotten up off the canvas. Beautiful move. De Florine went for a right spinning back kick, Decker through the low kick, and down uh, Marino went. Decker in the clinch, he's gonna work the knees here. De Florine is doing one really smart thing with his left leg. When Decker throws the right low kick, De Florine bends his knee and pushes his knee up in the air, and it kind of creates a little bit of an angle to where the low kick doesn't land directly on the thigh. The, the longer Marino stays in. Oh, oh two that. big low kicks by Decker. Seemed to wobble Marino for a flash. I can't believe that Marino can still stand after those two kicks. Those two kicks were on the back side. Wait, something happened. Okay, end of the round, and Marino gets a free left hook. Decker doesn't even, not even phased by the shot. Well, there's uh, more, more low kicks in that fight, more Decker. It's all Decker. Well, uh, Marino's only chance here, in my opinion, Steve, is if Ramon Decker uh, gasses out, if, uh, if his the stamina starts to fade, uh, Marino might have a chance. But then again, this is Muay Thai. One knee to the face can change everything. Here we okay, go. there it was, that right spinning back kick. Uh, it was a little bit of a jump in it, and Decker threw that right low kick. Nice little sweep there by Ramon. And Ramon stalking back in, from that left hook, right low kick. It doesn't seem that uh, De Florine has the answer to that basic right low kick. Um, one of the things that you can do when someone throws the right low kick over and over is to step in with a straight right, time the right hand, because the fighter who's throwing the right low kick is turning directly into the right punch. But De Florine has not found that timing yet. Marino hanging in there, taking all Decker can dish out up to this point. Can he sustain the damage by Decker? We'll find out in the next couple rounds here. Okay, okay it's round three. De Florine still very much game, still very much in the action, coming out with his own right low kick there. Decker very relaxed. In the clinch, gonna start a little knee fighting here. Decker is primarily, he's not really a knee fighter. I mean, he's hurt people with knees in clinches, but he is pretty much a kickboxing style. Oh, there we go. I knew he was gonna throw that left hook to the body and dug two of them right in. Dave Florine moving around. Good front push kick. Oh, beautiful combination there by Decker, punctuated by a right high kick. Good left uppercut, missed, but De Florine is still there. Nino is his nickname. Good jab by Marino. I'm starting to be really impressed by Marino. He's taking all these shots. He keeps coming back for more. Big, big kick right to the ribs of Decker. You know, it's a good thing that kick was with the foot because otherwise that might have hurt a little bit. Marino getting busy here. He knows he's behind. And he's coming out, throwing some punches, trying to build up some points. I think he realizes that he's going to have to win on points. It's going to be hard for him to stop Decker. Decker's not going to want to lose his last fight in his home country. He's not going to want that. And he's going to do everything he can, probably to win by KO. When you go into the den of the lion, you have, oh, but Marino is really getting busy here. Landed another kick right to the ribs of Decker. Looks like Marino is getting a little gassed, going to the body there, right roundhouse kick, but that roundhouse kick doesn't quite have the sting that Decker's does. 
Decker measuring him here. Decker measuring. Oh, good left hook by Decker, right on the ear. Marino firing back with the low kick. Nice little combination by Marino. Left, right, kick. Oh, good right knee there by Decker. Now Marino switches to southpaw. Decker chopping, oh, that hurt him. That hurt him. Decker hurt him with that low kick. Marino firing back. Marino got all the guts in the world, standing toe to toe with Decker right now. Decker chopping away. That, that leg is hurting now. You can see it, he switched to southpaw. He's, he's hardly able to stand on that left leg right now. Marino keeps firing back, even though Decker smelled blood there for just a second. He's trying to hide that leg now, but Decker knows it. Now Decker's gonna chop on the right leg. Oh, Decker's just firing away, unopposed with those low kicks. You don't wanna have a guy like Ramon Decker just shooting low kicks over and over your legs. That's gonna hurt tomorrow. Marino, Marino's in his corner. He's got that left leg kind of propped up. It doesn't look real good. I believe that Marino, if he comes out in this next round, will come out. And I say if he comes out, he will come out in the southpaw position because he's going to need that right leg in front. Here's Decker on the replay, just basically stalking Marino. Marino trying to get busy with points here, but these are mainly point kicks. Uh, you can see the power difference between Marino's technique. There's the left hook by Decker. Decker going high with that uh, right roundhouse kick. Marino covering, but nonetheless, Decker on the offensive. Beautiful combinations by Decker, but Marino keeps firing back, showing a lot of heart in this fight, going against a living legend, Ramon Decker, in his homeland, in front of 10,000 screaming fans. It's gonna be hard to get a decision in this fight for Marino. Especially now, whereas in my opinion, he's down three rounds easily. Oh yeah, it's definitely too hot to handle. Ahoy Sports Palace. I'm sitting here ringside, I'm Steven Quadros with Eddie the Twister Bravo, getting ready for round four, Decker versus De Florine. Decker back in stocking mode. Decker is a true study in relaxed, cold-blooded patience. Oh, that's it, that's it. Mar Marino is definitely going down. There it is, big left hook, big left hook. Marino's down, it doesn't look good. He's down, it's over folks, it's over. Ramon Decker has knocked out Nino De Florine. Beautiful. Listen to the crowd, Eddie, listen to this crowd. Incredible power displayed by Ramon Decker. What a way to finish a tremendous career, Ramon Decker will party his ass off now Here it is tonight. on the replay, there's the low kick, and that's that left hook. The left hook was right on the front of the face. That was a clean knockdown, clean knockout. Man, Ramon Decker, even after 197 fights, and that's a lot of wear and tear on the body. It's a lot of wear and tear on the body. Amazing, amazing fight. Marino stood in there, showed tremendous heart, but Ramon Decker just eventually, you knew it, Steve, Ramon Decker was gonna land that big left hook. And like you alluded to before this round, you, you said Marino was gonna switch to southpaw, and he was doing that. He was showing, he was switching to southpaw. And then he, even in the southpaw stance, he took a low kick to, the, to his right, uh, left leg while it was in the rear position. And Ramon Decker just finished it up with a big, tremendous left hook. Amazing. When, when Ramon Decker saw that Marino was hurt like that, he went for the kill. That's the precision of Ramon Decker. He's a ring general, he's a knockout artist, he's got it all together. This is the lead rule, oh, this is the lead rule. 10 seconds into the fourth round by a punishing knockout for the winner in the red corner, for the glory to Ramon Decker. Gotta say, Ramon Decker, is among the greatest living legends, both dead and alive, in the history of the martial arts. This man has done it all. 
a great, great win for him, a great career ender for him. You know, Eddie, Ramon Decker now is eyeing the sport of mixed martial arts. That would be tremendous. That would be huge to see a guy of his striking ability in the arena of mixed martial arts. I'd be front row ringside, absolutely for sure. We're gonna take it down to Steve, ringside, for a post-fight interview of Ramon Decker. Okay, it looks like the great Rob Common and the great Ramon Decker will be passing the torch to the Golden Glory team. Now, this is a significant event and a historic one. Too hot to handle, rocks the world. Okay, this is a really significant uh, event here because you've got you got Ramon Decker taking the tour. Rob Common, one of the greatest legends in the history of Muay Thai. Hierbij willen namens alle oude vechters, zoals Lucien Kabir, Ivan Hippolyt en alle grote vetrouwers, alle grote jongens, legendes uit het verleden. The fighting spirit overdragen and the new Golden Glory keep in the life of the to rock. Thank you very much. Jongens, Holland's Glory. Rob Common and Ramon Decker, two of the greatest historic legends in the martial arts and Holland, have now passed on the torch officially to the Golden Glory team. All the Golden Glory members there, there's Heath Herring, there's Ryan Simpson, Sam Schlitt right there. Chris Dolman, wil ik toch ook even ringen als dat kan. There's Ron Nyquist, one of the co-promoters of the Golden event, and also the manager of the Golden Glory team. And Ramon wondering, who do I pass this to now? Of course, he didn't need the uh, torch in his fight. He was a human torch in his fight. Ramon Decker punctuating his career. 197 fights, 105 knockouts. Standing next to him, Rob Common, one of the most dangerous fighters to ever get to play. And there's the torch passed on to the Golden Glory team. An exciting event here, folks. Two living legends in that ring, and a few more to come from the Golden Glory team. For sure, we got tremendous fighters on that team. I'm here with one of the greatest living martial art legends, and in his final fight, it was the low kicks that set it up, Ramon. Tell us about the fight. Uh, yeah, the locust did it. I was working on his legs, and in the fourth round, I started uh, dropping his hands, so I finished it the boxing. Okay, now, the passing of the torch, that was to the Golden Glory team. Explain that. Sorry, what's the question? 
explain the passion of the court. The passion is that the, the, the spirit that I had for 16 years have given out to the younger fighters of the Golden Glory team. That's a, that's a very big and diplomatic uh, movement. Now, there's been word that you like mixed martial arts. Are you going to be fighting again in mixed martial arts? Uh, maybe. I start thinking about it now. I have the time now, and I'm going to think what I'm going to do now. Maybe. OK. Ramon, it's a pleasure. A phenomenal career. And back to you guys.